Okay, welcome back to the unofficial guide to vMix online course. In this video, we're going to be going over the playlist feature. It's an amazing way to automate vMix switching in a playlist that you can control. Uh, it's a, it's a, I use it all the time, and let's take a look now. So the first time I ever saw this, just to tell a little story, the very first time I ever saw this, I was at NAB in 2016, and I was at Scott Whitney's uh, video production studio called Podworks in Las Vegas, and he had a bunch of PTZ camera inputs being switched automatically in vMix. And so it was operating the cameras, it was switching to them, and I want to show that functionality at the end of this tutorial because it's an interesting way if you have a PTZ camera to automate kind of loops of cameras and move them and have a bunch of cool fancy stuff happening. But let's take a look at the playlist first. So I have three inputs inside of vMix. And essentially to add them, I can go ahead and start a new playlist just to create a new playlist from start. And we'll just call this the video loop. So you might have you know, four or five different things that you want to loop. And so we'll add all three of them by clicking them and hitting the over uh, the right button. Now, if I wanted to remove one, I could just hit the left button. Essentially what happens is, is you can double click each of these and open up the inside playlist feature to say, where do you want the video to start? How long do you want it to play for? And how do you want it to transition into the next part of the playlist? So let's say we want it to go for 10, that's 10 minutes, let's do 10 seconds. We want it to do for 10 seconds, and we'll have it fade to the next video. So now it says it has a little 10 there. Uh, we'll do this for the next one as well. It's going to be 10 seconds. Now I can choose a starting point of that video if I'd like, but we'll just start it at zero, which is the beginning. And we'll have it fade to the next video. And we'll do this again for the next video. So we've basically got three videos. Come on here. Three videos that are going to uh, fade. Oh, that's a starting point of 10. That's okay. Now let's do zero. And the duration should be 10. So it plays for 10 seconds and then it fades. Now down here, we can have this loop forever. And we can go ahead and start. Now we could begin from the selected item. But you can see this little green arrow here is telling us, okay, this video has been started and it's playing. Let's zoom out to show the videos that are actually being played. So in the playlist, it just keeps going down. And so every 10 seconds, it's going to fade to the next item in the playlist. And it's just gonna loop forever. So we have each of these videos starting at zero. So it's just gonna loop through the first 10 seconds of each of these videos over and over and over again. When I hit stop, the playlist stops and the red button down here stops as well. This video continues to play. So you hit that red button, the playlist starts. Now, I wanted to show, I'm gonna bring in an NDI camera here. I wanted to show this functionality with a NDI camera if I can bring one in here. So let's bring in, let's bring in this camera here. So this camera is my 30X camera here. I'm gonna bring it in with low bandwidth mode. And what is the IP address of the 30X, Mike? If you could just let me know that. I, I, I wanna bring this camera in and I want to have PTZ camera control of it using the PTZ optics control that we've already learned about. So we're going to put the IP address 192.168.1.60. I'm going to hit connect. Because I really think this is cool when you use it with multiple different PTZ camera positions. So if we zoom it out a little bit, move it over a little bit, create another input, move over a little bit. Show Mike over there, click OK. All right, now I'm gonna hit the playlist feature and I am gonna create a new playlist for PTZ camera. And I am gonna bring in these three PTZ cameras and loop those. And it's just five seconds each is what the default is there. So every five seconds when it goes to a new preset, that has a PTZ position, it actually moves to that position. So um, that's pretty cool. 
and it's a nice way to automate PTZ camera control. So we can go back to our other playlist here and hit start. And now we're looping between those videos as well. So just another interesting application for playlists. That's really it. It's that simple. It's a very straightforward feature that allows you to automate, you know, vMix if you want to leave it in the stream for 24 seven, or, you, you know, like I said, there was a party where the cameras were moving around throughout a, you know, a gathering, different features um, that can, you can use inside of vMix. Let's get on to the next one in the next video.